Oh yeah, it's packety crackerty time on pack crackers. I guess uh, this is Jay Little opening up some more Magic: The Gathering Ixalan. Uh, pirates, dinosaurs, nuff said. Let's open, shall we? Uh, so I'm gonna see what we get. Gonna go through the commons real quick and talk about the uncommons and the rares and hopefully a couple of mythics. Let me get this on the actual camera here. Remember, guys, you can always pause to read about the cards that I go through fast. Fathom Fleet, Firebrand, Fa-fa-fa-fa-fa. Uh, Skyblade of the Legion. Uh, ravenous Daggertooth. I've never met a Daggertooth who wasn't ravenous, to be honest with you. Depths of Desire. I got Dire Fleet Interloper. I don't know if you guys ever played No Man's Sky. And if you learn some of the words, if you, if you hate No Man's Sky, I get it. You don't have to tell me. Uh, but a lot of the words you learn, one of the first ones you're going to learn in each language is interloper, which really helps you out in no possible way when it comes to the conversations you have with these different aliens. But anyway, back to Magic the Gathering, enough about video games, swashbuckling. Siren's Ruse, Unknown Shores, Sure, I unknown these shores. Um, having a hard time talking, aren't I? Uh, run aground. Not run around. You don't want to give me the run around because it is a surefire way, way to speed things up. But all it really does, it just slows me down. That's why we run aground. Uh, then anointed deacon. Nothing to do with Deacon Batista. Leave a comment in the comments. I guess that's where they go if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, my first one common, lightning rig crew. A two and a red. It is a goblin pirate. You can tap, and this deals one damage to each opponent, and whenever you cast a pirate spell, untap this dude. Or lady. It's hard to, It's a goblin. It's really hard to say. I don't know what the defining characteristics of a male or a female goblin is quite yet, and I'm okay if I never find out. Uh, Wild Growth Walker. One and a green. It's an elemental 1-3. Uh, whenever a creature you control explores, put a plus one, plus one counter on this dude and gain tree life. <laughs> you can see what I did tree life because it kind of looks like a tree. I didn't mean to do that, but as I was saying that, I'm like, haha, I laughed at myself. Uh, Glorifier of Dusk, uh, three and two white, Vampire Soldier, it's 4-4. Four, four. You can pay two life and this gains flying until end of turn, or you can pay two life and it gains vigilance until end of turn, or you can do both at the same time. Ooh, I got myself a rare, and it's one of the flippy dips. That's cool. I got Argul's Blood Fast, uh, one and a black, Legendary Enchantment, you can pay... A colorless and a black and two life to draw a card. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have five or less life, you may transform uh, Argul, Arg, Argul's Bloodfast into Temple of Al Aklazat. Uh, it's a legendary land. You can tap for a black mana. Uh, and you can tap this and sack a creature and you gave life e gain life equal to the sacrifice creature's toughness. I guess it's an okay card if you like playing risky, but that's usually what black is all about, playing risky for the biscuits. But anyway, guys, that will do it for today's Pack Crackers. Tune in all week long and all next week where I open up more packs. And feel free to watch some old episodes of the Pack Crackers. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Later.